Sam Tolbert from Sound of Joy Music Services, and we're doing our uh, new praise and worship ministry workshop uh, for keyboard. We're looking at How Great Is Our God by Chris Tomlin. Now, the original key, of course, is in D-flat. For those that like the number system, we'll use that in a, in a concept here that you guys like to use it in, where you've got the melody... Six, which would be the six note, one, two, three, four, five, six, from a bass standpoint. The four, which is the G flat, one, two, three, four, on the scale. Actually, I'm sorry, in the original song, they stay on the fourth note. Now, the number system, to me, is a, is a good start, but you should never... Allow that to be your total guide to playing. Now, the singer of this song sings it in the key of D-flat. Your praise team might not have the range that he has. will take your sopranos on a usual praise team. Otherwise, you can bring them down in this range. So you basically, yeah, what I'm saying is with so much unis unison singing in some of these type songs, you split where your voices would normally fall. Being a traditional gospel sound, I like to find the happy medium. For me, the happy medium that I use with my praise team is the key of A flat. So I have a sopranos, altos, and a tenor singer, of course, singing an octave lower. That's very rough, but that gives me a, a starting point. So in A flat, I know the song is originally done in D flat, but once you learn how to, how to move around your scales, any key you go into that which may fit the voice um, ability of your praise team or choir members, if you're going to be doing it in that sense, you find what's comfortable. So I'm moving it to A flat, which is where I work with it with my praise team. Now the chords I use this we. Those who want to see this as the one, which is the A flat chord, I throw the A flat with, with an A flat nine in there. By nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth note in that scale is the B flat. I'll stretch the chord out. fifth note for those that count one two three four five e flat in the bass for me to fill the song out i know sometimes you go against what i go against what songwriters write i like to take a license to add my own flavor
I've done is to take the original recording of the song, add a little flavor to it at the very end, add some, some rhythm to it, and then work around the actual melody. I always teach melody because that's the scales. That's the melody at the beginning. Once you know where the melody is, you can see what chords you can put there. So now that I see where my notes are in that range, now what chords are available to me, of course, A flat with the ninth note there, F minor, D flat. I work it in, in, in that sense. I find the happy medium chords, your basic chords. Where's the melody going? And then I begin to add the rhythm to it once the song begins to take off. Take off. So that's how I build the chords around uh, how great is our God. I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes. I got another less, little, less than two more to go, two minutes to go. So the other part of the song. That's a uh, Sound of Joy music moment.